Uh, Lean Six Sigma skills and qualifications represent a great opportunity as an advantage for students entering the job market. The universities, business schools, and ac other academic institutions support students on this academic journey. In today's competitive and modern workplace, Lean Six Sigma expertise can separate those students from their peers who lack these valuable skills. Good morning, everyone. My name is Li Mei, and welcome to the Lean Six Sigma Academy. Today, I'm very honored to have Mr. Sebastian Brusma with me. Hi, Sebastian. Welcome. Hello, Li Mei. Thank you, and I'm okay. Thank you for having me here. Uh, Sebastian is the lecturer and also researcher from Suma Malaysia, and Suma Malaysia is located in the Netherlands. Uh, Sebastian also has been giving lectures about Lean Six Sigma every year to his students. So today we're going to, I'm going to have a conversation with uh, Sebastian. I'm trying to hear his opinions regarding the advantage uh, uh, for skills like Lean Six Sigma gave into the students. Um, hi, Sebastian, I have a few questions for you, if that's okay. Yes, okay. Yeah, uh, could you please tell me a bit about your background with Lean Six Sigma? I mean, how yeah. and when were you introduced to it and what were your early experiences? Okay, well, okay. Well, t 10 years ago, um, uh, we were talking with our teachers uh, in, in Eindhoven about uh, the schools we have, and um, uh, we, we noticed we are in a, in a company, uh, in, in, a, in a city with a lot of car uh, manufacturers like uh, OEMs and tier ones and tier twos and tier threes. And we asked those companies, okay, where do you get your, your people from? Because we are a technical school, we, we uh, have students who want to be car mechanics. And um, do, do you see those guys? Do you see those students in your company? They say, no, we, we don't get them. So we were thinking about well, how, how can we uh, support you and, and, and deliver students to your companies? And they were talking uh, with us and we were talking with them and we were thinking about it. And, and then we, we agreed, okay, maybe we could just start a, an engineering uh, education program. And um, we started talking about, okay, what, what is automotive engineering? What's the, what's the main uh, main uh, things you do and what what do those students need for uh, for skills and it didn't take long uh, for us to notice that one of those things was uh, Lean Six Sigma it's 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 in all companies and they, they ask us oh if if you uh, are teaching our students uh, to to come to our company for a job please educate them at uh, Lean Six Sigma because it's so valuable and um, it gives a head start for them in our company so we don't have to train them on the job anymore if, if they know those basic skills, we can we can go ahead and, and start our, that internship and give them also some responsibility in our in our company. So we said, yeah, we we'll look into okay. it, and and yeah, that's how we started. But back then, uh, it's like ten years ago, you heard this message from those companies, uh, you know, in Eindhoven and those cities. But back then, so that's actually the first how you call it, the first way they get to know Lean Six Sigma. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and and we we started uh, we started with uh, uh, like uh, Lean Six Sigma a white belt, and yeah. we were teaching the, the students about the white belt level, and uh, they were they were curious, and 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 one point we said, okay, you can do a test here at school, and they went like, okay, yeah, but if we want to, the students and well, also the company said, if they want to be valuable to us, is there a possibility to get to to do a real exam and, and get a certificate, and and then that's why uh, why I. Uh, I started searching for, okay, we do our own internal uh, exams, and but is there a possibility to give it something more, to be more valuable to, to the companies? And um, we, we started to start talking to students, okay, if you, if you want, uh, want to develop yourself, are you willing to do a Lean Six Sigma uh, Academy exam? Or, mm -hmm. for example, a Yellow Belt, and they went like, yeah, we want to do this. And, and um, they, they, the students had the choice, for taking the exam in, in school, just a paper exam uh, for their uh, for their classes, and uh, it took me a, f a few minutes to, to realize almost all the students said no. We want to do we want uh, one, 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 what we want to do we want to do the uh, the exam of the Lean Six Sigma Academy because we get a certificate okay. and it's valuable for us. Yeah. So basically, if I understand you correctly, it's like. Uh, you know, by training your students and letting them have a real qualification with us uh, can, yeah, can help them for their job in the future in the, in the organizations. And that is also what organizations are looking for, right? Uh, 
no, thank you for that. And also, what are your thoughts on the linguistic secondary educational settings, like, for instance, in universities and colleges? Oh, thank you for that question. Because um, um, uh, as as uh, as soon as I started with uh, Lean Six Sigma with uh, in our company uh, on the white belt level, and after after a while, the yellow belt level, there were a lot of uh, other schools interested in uh, in what we were doing because they hear, heard, okay, we're doing Lean Six Sigma. They were seeing uh, uh, the companies that where our students went to for their internship. They came to us and went. What are you doing? Uh, this is great what you're doing. So, so they asked us, "Are you the the, the first school who does this? And are there more schools that do uh, Lean Six Sigma?" And we started studying the, the the question. And there was a point when we went like, "Okay, level four. It's, it's called MBO here in a, in the Netherlands. Um, there 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 are not not really a lot of schools who do uh, a Lean Six Sigma. They do some parts like push and pull and 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 uh, communication trainings." But Lean Six Sigma, not so much. It, it's only on the level five, like the HBO and uh, level six universities, um, when they get uh, information about, for example, the green belt level. And also, this is very, uh, very, um, uh, how do you call it? No, very slim. So they get a course like five or six or seven times uh, 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 a course, like uh, two or three hours, and that's it. And mm -hmm. we have embedded it in our in our our school. For for example, they start with uh, ISO TS. Uh, it's called now I I A T F uh, now, and yeah. in three years they they get introduced to Lean Six, Lean Six Sigma, and after a, a course of a half year, they uh, do the exam for Lean Six Sigma Yellow Belt. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. if I if I if I can summarize, basically you're saying all the schools, all the educational settings like universities or or colleges, they should introduce in the beginning some basic of Lean Six Sigma, maybe for lower level students. And then later, if the level goes high, they should introduce more, like a more complicated uh, aspect of Lean Six Sigma. Is that correct? Yeah, that's yes, okay. that's that's correct. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I personally know uh, two five level two five level schools, so HBO yeah. schools, they teach green belt. And yeah. I've I've heard about a university who does uh, green belt or black belt, um, but that's it. And uh, yeah. on the level four schools, I I don't hear it a lot. I hear there's some. Some people experimenting with tools from Six Sigma, um, but but we do it. So so we got we, we have some questions from other companies, but some sometimes from schools. Okay, how do you do it? Mm -hmm. So yeah. So I'm and, happy like your school, like Suma Place, you can become some kind of ambassador. You know, we can tell other schools. Okay, for lower level, you should do this kind of uh, I don't know topics for Six Sigma. And for higher yeah. level students like five, year five, year six, you should do on other some kind of uh, topics. Yeah, that's good to know. So, so now that's my third question is like basically, if I understood correctly, you start to introduce already Lean Six Sigma course like ten years ago, right? Yeah, ten years ago we uh, we were uh, building the, the the education, so the ed education program, and uh, the first thing that came into the program was uh, was ISO TS. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and our, uh, shortly after that, we, we introduced Lean Six Sigma only on the white okay. belt level. And uh, yeah. one year later, we were like, okay, we're going to do the yellow belt because the, the white belt, it's, it's like they have to know something and the yellow belt has more body. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so that, that's how, how it came into our program. And we're doing it for six or seven years uh, on, a, on a row. And we have uh, very high, um, high voluntarily examining. So students, they say, I want to do the exam. I want to be examined by yeah. the Lean Six Sigma Academy. I want to have this certificate. So they're also the students self. They're also very motivated to get three like certified. Uh, yeah, by us, for instance. And the the you know just back to the question three, is like you started like almost ten years ago, and the reason the primary reason back then for having Lean Six Sigma in your curriculum was because you wanted to train the students so that they can better fit in their internship at some companies. So that was the primary reason, I think, to teach them the basic Lean Six Sigma skills uh, for their future uh, employees, employers, right? Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, let's talk about, you know, you have been giving lessons, you know, for a long time. I'm just curious about, about the courses. Like, if, for instance, during your lecture, what kind of courses do you incorporate in your lecture? What kind of things do you teach to your students? Can you please be more specific about that? 
Yes, well, um, uh, in the first, in the beginning, I was just teaching the book. That's, that's not, not really very nice to say, but I was just doing the program like, okay, go to page one, go to page two, go to yeah. page three. And uh, I saw I saw the students like, okay, we want to understand, but because they're on level four and they don't have a lot of company experience or they don't have, have done internship yet. Yeah. Uh, it's very hard for them to understand what I'm saying because they they don't have the, the context. So. Okay, if you're talking about pool, but what 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 does it mean for a company? What how does it look like? How can I see, for example, Tim Woods? Okay, there's uh, inventory, there's waiting time, but how does it look like? So after yeah. a, a few uh, courses of of just telling them about Lean Sigma, I decided to uh, to order about uh, 900 uh, euros of uh, of materials, games, just to let them feel. What it means, for example, I, I bought a, a lot of catapults, uh, catapults with, uh, for especially designed for, for statistics. And yeah. I was going to let them shoot uh, little balls on aluminum foil. And they went like, okay, that's strange. I see I have a machine like the catapult and I shoot on the, every time I pull it back on the same level, I let it go and the ball drops somewhere else. And, and then I went like, okay, if you see this, what does it mean for a company? And they went like, okay, I can translate it from there's a machine and I always have variation. And then I bumped the table and they, sh they shut uh, off the paper and went like, okay, what is this? I call this, this is a special cause. So, so for, for them, it's very important to not just to uh, see the book and read it, but have to yeah. make a connection to the context in, in the companies. So that's, that's why uh, we do it in the, in the, uh, the second year. So they don't have an uh, internship yet. And it's very funny to see, and I, I love the, the, the comment always, because when they go on the internship in, the, in their third year, they always come back with questions. Okay, I had to do DMIC. Okay, okay, help me. I had, I had to do a CPOC. What was it again? Can, can you please help me? And sometimes I still have uh, alumni uh, students. Uh, they're on the level five uh, or they're working. And sometimes they get calls. Okay, so that's you. We're talking about CPOC. What was it again? Can you please help me? So that's very, very nice to hear. They, 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 they just come back for more information because they know um, it, it, it's in the book, but what does yeah. it mean for them? You have to put them on the context. So uh, that's sometimes very hard because um, um, I'm a teacher, I'm always at school. So that's why I chose to go, uh, uh, go on, a, on my own internship and go to companies to see, okay, what are you doing with Lean and how do you do it? And all those examples I saw in the, in the companies, in the production environment, in the car production environment, I take them back to my classes and I'm like, okay, if you go to a company, you see like this, it probably is like this. It, it is per perhaps pull, it's perhaps waiting time, it's perhaps, and I mean like, okay, and they can really relate to the to the environment then. then. Okay, well, I'm happy to see you in when we talk about the lecture. It's really good to see. <laughs> so uh, I think one very important message I just heard from your introduction is that, you know, you try to teach them th uh, theoretical knowledge, of course, that's really good from our textbook. And also you try to combine the practical side of the whole story. I know you're only teaching students at the yellow belt level, right? And yes, even for that level, yeah, yellow belt is actually like the basic entrance level of Lean Six Sigma, as we all know, of course. And even at that level, you're trying to put the emphasis on the practical side, which is really good because you, as a teacher, I can see that you're motivated to try to collect students from the theory and, and the practical side, maybe at the company they go into internship or just through the games they're playing. So that you're trying to encourage them to have a complete picture of how Lean Six Sigma works. That, that's really nice to see that. I think more schools, more teachers should do the same way as you do, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> and uh, I see that you, you have also trained many students already. And what kind of advantage do you see that for those, those students who have learned Lean Six Sigma, uh, I don't know, uh, lectures from you, for instance, what kind of advantage they have from the others who haven't followed any training? For instance, maybe their critical thinking skills is better. The analytical skills. Can you tell us more about that? The advantage yes. is, yeah. Yes, we we notice uh, we notice the the, the, and the the students get more how you call it more responsibility in the companies. Yeah. Um, I, I also got feedback from companies. Maybe that's a that's a good good one because they get an internship for for the first time from our school. So we yeah. do automotive engineering and we do uh, we do of course Lean Six Sigma, but all, also other courses and. 
they, they usually say, okay, I didn't expect this from, from your students because other schools we, we get students and uh, we have to explain to them, for example, what is 5S and we have to train them and we have to tell them about the mic, we have to tell them about the importance of measurements and, and those students of yours, they, they come in here and they have a, a big plus because they understand, mm -hmm. uh, for example, um, what 5S is. We, we don't have to explain them for them. So it takes them a very short time to be introduced into the company. They don't see the intern uh, as an intern after two weeks anymore because he's so uh, motivated, but also uh, has a, a, a big bag of knowledge and experience and uh, willing to, to ask more, kind of like, I'm, I'm seeing this, like uh, I, see, I see inventory not moving. Is this, is this waiting? Can we, can we perhaps um, uh, pick it up and, and, and yeah. move it up a little bit? So the students then, they also start to recognize waste for example so, and, and then they go to their, their, their uh, uh, how do you call it their begeleider, the the coach of the of the company is like, okay. yeah I'm sorry supervisor. yeah supervisor. supervisor yes yes the supervisor and they say okay i i have studied lean and i know i see something like we have a lot of waiting can we please so it's a big plus for them because they they, they have those the, the knowledge they know where to look and they know also how to re recognize it if you don't know it's very hard for them to recognize if you don't know where to look or, or to, to recognize the symbols of the signals of, of a problem. So, so that's what we give them uh, into the companies. And we got a lot of, a lot of positive reactions of the companies. They go, like, wow, uh -huh. they did it. this program, this. We, we got level four, five students uh, here for, 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 a, for a few years, but please, can you send me more level four students of your school? Because they really make a difference and and that's very nice to hear from from the companies because those yeah. are those are, are, are of course our company our, our customers for for a, for a big part and and of course our students are our, our customers of, of us and we want to make the the path to the job uh, as smooth as possible yeah so there's a really big, big advantage for us and them yeah good to see and also the feedback from the companies is really important and really positive so just to summarize a little bit, the students, they have more responsibility and uh, they understand the real world business processes. For instance, they understand what inventory is, and how can you do with it if you have too much, for instance. Uh, they also understand how to analyze, optimize and improve in business process. Maybe they, they do not always have the best solution, but at least they have this mindset after following those lectures. OK, uh, there is a problem. We identify the root cause. We should find a solution. So basically that's like, I think general speaking, it's like a way of working. It's kind of like mindset. So that's, I think that's a big plus indeed, as you have mentioned for the students who follow the Lean Six Sigma course. Well, yeah. I do have my, like my, fi my final question for you. You know, thank you so much for what you have introduced uh, so far. Uh, you know, there's kind of like, uh, what kind of skills employers are looking for? Like the skills of the students that a company want to have. Can you, you have mentioned something already, like for instance, be responsible, uh, being analytical, be communicative. Can you have something, anything else to add to that maybe? No, you, you also already pointed out some good points. Uh, if, if, if I go to a company, uh, for example, uh, uh, OEM, uh, and they produce trucks, and I go to a, uh, to a tier two who produces uh, air systems, they, even though they produce different systems, or assist yeah. uh, or uh, products. Um, there are uh, some points that they say we 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 need in the students. They have to be honest. They have to be on time. They have to be precise. Those are basic skills. And afterwards, if you if you ask a little bit more and you ask them, okay, what are the skills you're looking for in a student? And they come with 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 feedback like, okay, uh, they have to understand the program. They have to understand. We always have to. With the customer in first place but the customer doesn't always mean the one who's buying the product it can also be the colleague uh, next next in next in line in the in a, uh, the production uh, system mm -hmm. and what, what what i want from from our employee from from their employees is to under, make them understand that whatever they every employee employee does there is a big responsibility it, it goes into the system a step by step step if you don't uh, give quality it will all in the end come uh, to the customer who buys the product. So yeah. that's what they're looking for. They're looking for people who, who truly understand it's my responsibility. And if I do it correctly, I don't accept mistakes from my colleagues, 
and I don't make mistakes and I don't pass on mistakes, that's something they, they really uh, prefer or come back with, with those, those kinds of signals, okay, that's what we're looking for. And, and that's why I'm, 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 I'm of course, uh, in the technical environment, I can also imagine that, for example, if you, if you work at uh, the healthcare, uh, you don't want to keep your patients waiting, you don't want to miss a telephone call because you maybe you, you miss, uh, miss out on something very important. So I don't think this, this Lean Six Sigma is now in, 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 fact, in our environment because we, we use it a lot. I can also see it in, in different courses or different environments or different schools, for example, uh, healthcare, uh, law yeah. or, or uh, other or businesses because everyone wants to do the same. They want to put this, uh, the customer in the first place. They want to know what the customer wants. They want to deliver to the customer and what is value yeah. for their customer. Wow, that's, that's really, really well said, uh, Sebastian. Indeed, as we have, I was also trying to emphasize is that Lean Six Sigma, this methodology, this kind of tools or method, is not only for manufacturing sector, but also for public service sector. Like you have mentioned healthcare or law or, or, or bank insurance, for instance. It, it's a it, second point you have mentioned is really, also really good the quality. The quality matters. Like you don't yeah. make mistakes. You don't accept the mistakes that are made by your colleague or by other people from other process. Yeah, indeed, I think companies are looking for those kind of talents, you know, with this kind of correct mindset, you know, quality matters, for instance, uh, identify the root cause and find solution and also the responsibility you have just mentioned. Well, yeah, I think uh, so far we have uh, we have talked enough about this topic and I really thank you so much for all the input and all the ideas and the thoughts you have shared with us. And uh, you know, if you're interested in knowing more about giving Lean Six Sigma lectures in the education market, or if you wanna know more about how we, LSSA, Lean Six Sigma or can we can help you, please feel free to reach out to us. Visit our website at www.lssa.eu. Now, thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.